Hello and welcome to today's review and today it's Sailing on Silver by James Dolby, a true story. And this is a lovely, amusing adventure around the long stretch of islands that litter the warm Caribbean seas. And to quote James Dolby, like most stories in the Caribbean, the truth turned out to be rather blurred. And this is a story of a couple who chuck it all in to follow their dreams. Dreams that include sailing and a boat charter, neither of which they were particularly experienced with. But with the wind in your hair and determination and a bit of foolhardiness, well, why not? I'd always steered clear of those adverts in glossy holiday brochures that offered bare boat charter. But Sailing on Silver has certainly broadened my horizons and it seems, according to James Dolby, that it's perfectly possible to get your hands on a rather large yacht. All you need to do is convince the boat charter boss uh, with your sublime sailing knowledge terms, um, your ability to twiddle with the radio, um, some navigational input, of course, um, and naturally you need to cross his barometer with a moderate, though increasingly large, amount of silver. And if you can do all that, my friend, you too could soon find yourself adrift in your very own wind-assisted holiday home. And after a few weeks of learning the lines, <laughs> see what I did there? Sailors amongst you, learning the line. Anyway, after a few months of learning, you will become quite competent. And according to James Dolby, again to quote him, you have to go through a few, well, I don't know, hiccups along the way. As James puts it, I was beginning to realise that the earlier one does things on a boat, the more time there is to cope with disasters. Well, with all that expensive learning behind you, after a couple of weeks you'll be able to relax on deck with a cool beer. Smug, superiority and blithely watching the very next novice sailor who drops anchor nearby observing how he's doing it all wrong. And again, to quote James, he'll be sorry he didn't tie that on properly. There is something very appealing about being a stowaway on someone else's rather expensive yacht. And as the chapters floated by with descriptive charm, I felt as though I'd been there, that I'd made those connections those unlikely friendships that you never knew you needed. Yes, taking life into the breeze, one sail at a time, and then becoming a graduate of your own making. And as a byproduct, I have learned some sailing terms. I've learned now my freeboard from my starboard. I've learned that the sail locker refers to a sort of cupboard on board and it's not just the trendy pub on the Cornish quayside. But my favourite term has to be the dinghy painter. Every time I read that I was just, I was falling about laughing. The dinghy painter just sounds so ridiculous and yet, well you know it's a standard term so let's not mock. <sighs> Written with lightness and humour uh, by a man and his family who live by kindness and proper standards that shine through even when there's a, a large black cloud bubbling on your horizon and you're miles away from shelter. This, the latter part of the book actually features their uh, experiences with running a, a restaurant in the Caribbean which is a whole there's a whole new ball game. That's, a, that's something else entirely. But if you have aspirations to do that sort of thing, then there are certainly lessons to be learnt in here. Um, 
this is a lovely book. It's an escape. It's escapism, whether you want to sail around one of the 700 or so islands of the Caribbean or whether you're just, I don't know, looking to follow your own dreams. You might well find inspiration in here to get you started. So there we are. Sailing on Silver, James Dolby. It's available all over the place. So you just look him up, James Dolby, and you will find Sailing on Silver. Thank you very much.